Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Tucson police are looking into a crash that happened at Colbin Tonka Verde. TPD says it happened just before 10 last night. We know at least one car and motorcycle were involved. Police say one man was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. We do not know how it all happened, but the driver of the car did stay on the scene. A 21 year old suspect is dead and an Arizona State trooper is recovering after being shot in Cochise County. This all started with a traffic stop yesterday morning along I-10. Authorities say the suspect was clocked doing 111 miles per hour. DPS and Wilcox police had to use spike strips and a pit maneuver to stop the SUV. The suspect shot at authorities, hurting that trooper. He escaped into a Wilcox neighborhood where he was shot and killed trying to enter a home. Now we've got a look at all the wildfires burning in Arizona right now. A new fire reported in a remote area about 12 miles northeast of Nogales. The Shamrock Fire has grown to 125 acres with a crew of 90 battling this blaze. Let's take a closer look at the 2021 fire season so far. More than 177,000 acres have burned. That is already more land than six seasons over the past 20 years. The Telegraph Fire is now the ninth in the ninth spot for the largest ever wildfire in Arizona. The Bighorn Fire that burned the Catalina Mountains last year is number seven. The largest fire is still the 2011 Wallow Fire that burned more than 500,000 acres. Another high profile Republican in Arizona has thrown his hat into the Senate ring. Attorney General Mark Burnovich hopes to earn the party's nomination to run against Senator Mark Kelly in 2022. Burnovich says his campaign will focus on restoring election integrity, border security and promote an American first approach to foreign policy. This weekend, Tanque Verde Pediatrics is holding a vaccination clinic for kids. It's from 8 till 5 tomorrow, and the address is right here on your screen. It will be held for kids who need the second Pfizer shot. The clinic says they did 500 shots in two weeks for kids who needed the first shot. Let's take a look at the forecast. The heat wave begins with excessive heat this weekend through much of next week. Moisture will increase across the area with the prospects of isolated showers and thunderstorms moving into the forecast beginning on first day of monsoon.